morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 90, the last lesson in our review. Please subscribe. So we have a dynamic duo of two lessons today. And it's perfect that they are together because it is like putting the problem and the solution together because that's exactly what we have here today. So the first lesson that we are reviewing is let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. It says, let me realize that the problem is always some form of a grievance that I would cherish. So it's not just that it's a grievance, and remember, every grievance is an illusion, but it is a grievance that I want to hold on to, an illusion that I want to hold on to. Why? Why do I want to hold on to it? Well, we go back into the text of would you prefer to be right or happy? Well, I'm holding on to that grievance because I want to be right. And I think that if I hold on to it long enough, it's going to be useful. I'm going to be able to use this against another child of God at some point in time, which is the other problem. So <laughs> the other issue we have to resolve, resolve. So... It's some form of a grievance that I would cherish. Let me also understand that the solution is always a miracle with which I let the grievance be replaced. You can have a miracle or you can have a grievance. I think we've said this before. You're not gonna have them both at the same time. We must choose. Which do I want? Do I want the illusion or do I want truth? Again, our list of things, uh, the way or the detour, a, the uh, truth or the illusion, heaven or hell, life or death, choices, always choices. So I'm going to have the solution, which is always a miracle. It's always right-minded thinking. It is always that shift. And it is always brought to me courtesy of the Holy Spirit. If I hand over all my grievances, the Holy Spirit will give me the solution, give me the answer, because the Holy Spirit is the answer. So today I would remember the simplicity of salvation, the simplicity, the ease, the ease of freedom and of happiness and of peace. I would remember the ease of salvation by reinforcing the lesson that there is one problem and there is one solution. The problem is a grievance. The solution is always going to be a miracle. It's a miracle, okay? And I invite the solution to come to me through my forgiveness because my forgiveness opens up my mind that I may receive and want to receive the answer the forgiveness of the grievance and my welcoming of the miracle that will take its place. The miracle will always take the place of the grievance. Now, I think, I think that I have many grievances perhaps because there's this one person, this one person in my life and I have one grievance with them. But what happens in this world is that one grievance multiplies because if I have one thing that I'm upset with someone about another member of the sonship, as I said, it's a set, it's, I think I said, it's a separation thing that I believe. My problem is always that I think that I'm separate from another person, from the Holy Spirit, from God. That is the the beginnings of every problem, separation. So I think I'm separate, separate from my brother, but then that one thought of separation is projected outward, and now I find many, many, many other reasons for me to be upset with this one person, this one brother, this one beautiful child of God. So when I can pare down and realize and forgive myself, this is the forgiveness, the forgiveness of the grievance, the grievance that I had when I forgive that first grievance, all of the others will be forgiven as well. It works that way, that all I have to do, it's that as I talk often about the pebble in the pond, the pebble in the pond of forgiveness will go out and it will eradicate it will shift and change, transform every grievance that I have because forgiveness is the way to the solution, the way to the miracle. 
we have the um, different lines to use, the comments to use for our 15 minutes of practicing with this lesson. And um, suggestions, you can use your own. The last one is the answer to this problem is the miracle that it conceals. We cover, we cover the answer, we cover the miracle again with the clouds, with the walls, with the curtains, with dark objects, walls, fences that we put up around. But the answer to the problem is always the miracle and it is concealed by the problem, but it is always, always there. The second lesson is let me recognize my problems have been solved. I seem to have problems only because I am misusing time. In this world, in this illusion, there's the belief in the laws of time. I'm under no laws but God's. But in the laws of time, there is the belief that there has to be the problem and then a period of time before the solution happens. In truth, this the problem and the solution happen simultaneously. God in his graciousness and his great love for us, as soon as there was a problem, the belief in separation, the answer was given the Holy Spirit. This is the same here. The seeing, the thinking and the seeing happen at the same time, simultaneously. But if I am misusing time, the laws of time that I think I need to believe in, then I believe that it has to be a while. There has to be a passage of time before my problems can be solved. I believe that the problem comes first and time must elapse before it can be worked out. I don't see that the problem and the answer are simultaneous in their occurrence because that is the graciousness and the love that God has for us. He doesn't want us to have to go looking for the solution. He puts the solution right there where the problem is so his children don't have to wander around looking for the answer. It is given to them. So the Holy Spirit will teach me this if I will let him and I choose, I choose to let him and I will understand that it is impossible that I could have a problem which has not been solved already, already. The problem, the answer is are one and the problem is dissolved and all that remains is the answer which is my miracle in my recognition that I am not separate from God. I am not separate from the Holy Spirit. I am not separate from my brother. I am one with all that is because I am entitled to miracles. It is the birthright. I am, we are the extension of God. That's how it really works. Um, and then again, we have the practicing, we have our three lines of suggestions. The answer to this problem is already given me if I will accept it and I choose to accept it. That's it for today. I hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, um, please pray. Pray that we all realize the problem is one of separation and it's already been solved. Namaste.